Oh, I found it. I found it, y'all. It is called Mindful Talk. And I want to play this game with myself. I want to get rid of my podcasts and everything, all my hobbies online. And just play this game with myself on my... journal so here's the question the question is if you could travel anywhere in the world where would it be one place I've always wanted to travel is California and I know it's expensive but if I could travel anywhere in the world it would be California because the weather is so nice out there and it's just a different vibe it's a surreal vibe i've heard that it is very surreal out there um a place of dreams i don't know if it's where dreams go to die (laughs) because the homeless population is so high but i would really love to visit california Let's see what the next question is. Tell me about a time where you felt it was hard to be calm. That's the question. My breakup, it was hard to be calm. Um, still trying to get over that breakup. And this was a breakup with Horatio, just in case I go back and look at it. Um, it was hard to stay calm because of how it went down. And I still forget that, like, there was a point of talking where... We had apologized to each other, and I said I was going to go my separate ways, but it still hurt so bad that, like, I just couldn't let it go. So, that was a time where I felt like it was hard to be calm. Um... quit my job even though I quit my job now I quit my job and you know I I really feel like um, that I should just be more accepting of like the hand that I've been dealt which is like getting my disability check and living my life in peace I feel like I should accept that I just feel like I'm trying so hard to fight against it that um, I'm draining myself out trying to be this businesswoman, trying to be this business person, trying to be the best at what I do. So that's that question. Let's see this question. I feel like these questions are repeating themselves. What is one lesson you have learned from the past? Not to call anybody my husband early and not to post all of my business on social media. I still have trouble with this and Posting all that on social media and posting my business on social media all throughout my relationship I would post about the other person and how cool they were 
and how in love I was and it just made me feel like after I posted it, it made me feel embarrassed. I was embarrassed because um, I kept calling them my husband and they never were really mine to call that. They were just playing around and it still left some marks today. I still compare myself. I compare myself heavily to people now more than I compare myself before. Um, frequent Instagram heavily still look at their page on a con consistent basis. <sighs> yeah, y'all. Don't do that. Don't do that. What is something that sometimes makes me feel scared? I think the fact that I'm quitting job makes me feel scared because I feel like I'm going to go homeless and that um, when my mom and dad pass, I'm not going to be able to figure out how to take care of myself and take care of their passing. That's something that I constant, consistently think about on a daily basis before I go to bed at night because I'm in my 30s now and they are in their 60s and it just makes me feel scared. Um, my whole existence is, my whole existence um, and my whole day, days are affected by this because I know I'm supposed to have a job to support myself and my family but I can't because of my disability like I've tried so hard and sometimes I'm like you know Kay life isn't over you're only 30 you could do more you could work more but y'all by golly Bye, golly. I'm trying, and it's just not working for me. It's not. My energy is, like, depleted. Especially being a social media manager. Ugh. My energy is, like, totally depleted. What is one thing you wish to happen in the near future? I hope if I don't get disability, I hope I hope my disability, if I get disability, is $2,000. Like, I hope. I know that's probably not going to be the case. But I hope it's $2,000. And I hope I can get food stamps. And I hope I can live off my disability money for the rest of my life and still stay at home oh this is the near future <laughs> what do i hope to happen in the near future i hope i can get a job that i like that is easy and where i don't feel like i don't know what i'm doing but i think i'm always going to feel that way because i think honestly I am on the spectrum and I feel like things are always going to be hard for me because my focus is always going to be a little bit off. Um, I really have schizoaffective so that might be it. I don't want to, I don't want to make excuses with my mental illness but I'm starting to realize that things are a little bit screwed up in here. So, what is one thing you wish to happen in the near future? A job. A job, at least a part-time job. I know my life revolves around jobs. One thing I really wish that 
another thing I really wish that would happen in the near future is me just being confident and calm with myself. So, why do you think it's important not to worry about the past or future? This one is like the epitome of like my everyday. Why do I think it's important not to worry about the past or the future? I think that the past has already happened and I think the future has not happened yet. And I feel like if you worry about the present moment as easy as that sounds it's not easy but i feel like when you worry about the present moment it it makes life a little bit easier and i used to do that before i started to worry i'm on medication for lexapro for my anxiety i don't take it because it makes me really really anxious and it has some other side effects that I do not like so I just stopped taking it and my therapist charges me a hundred dollars a month and I should be more honest with her <laughs> but I'm not so yeah I think that's the end of the questions for today i feel a little bit calmer so i'm gonna end it this was mindful talk with kayla i want to play a game y'all i'm gonna play a game